Hey, welcome back to my channel. Got a little quick hit here for you. Uh, power supply. So let's say you wanna you wanna power up your RXSR, or let's say you wanna power up your VTX. Let's say you wanna power up your VTX and your camera, and just do some quality checks on it, just to make sure. Or you know you have your receiver, you have your cross. You know it could be could be a crossfire receiver, could be an RXSR could be anything like that and you want to just bind it up before you put it in your quadcopter you can make a quality power supply quick easy and cheap and here's how so basically this power supply let me zoom in for you this power supply I got for like a dollar at the uh, thrift store. I love the thrift store. You need electronic components, go to the thrift store and buy something, tear it apart and rip it out. But this here, if you notice, it says output, five volts. You see the flat line? Those flat lines represent DC. If those were curved. See that one above it right there? That one's curved. That's AC. You want it to say output, five volts, DC, and this one's two amps. If you can find one that's three amps, that would be even better. You don't really want to go under one and a half amps because there are components out there in, in the FPV land that consume more than that. Uh, you start co connecting VTXs and cameras together, you could exceed 1.5 and make this thing really hot. But 2.0 amps is perfect, just fine. Okay, let me zoom back out. So we have our power supply, okay, and this is nothing more than a, a United States, you know, 120 volt plug into your outlet, and then the cord. Eventually, you just cut it, and you splice on whatever you want. And in this case, I spliced on alligator clips. Okay, so I have alligators. You can pick these up on Amazon really cheap, like a whole bag of them. And you can cut these however length you want and solder them on. So I have my red and my black. And then I like to, you can see inside the barrel, there's the copper. You clamp that inside here, slide the insulation up. And now you have bench test leads. Okay, maybe a little clamp leads. So then you can take your power supply and I actually have a, I have a, a switch on a power supply that I can plug into. So let's grab like my VTX here. Okay. So we grab the, the ground and then we grab the hot. Okay. And then normally when I'm busy working on something, I'll tape this down just so this doesn't touch anything. But in this case, I'm just going to hold it off to the side. And then we're going to turn it on. And now that's going to supply. That's going to supply 5 volts. You see in there the light's flashing on the VTX. So right now that camera is working. Okay. So I can do bench work. I can put a little fan on this VTX. This is a Spedex uh, IS100 stack uh, VTX. A really nasty bugger to work with. But I got this one working and I just use it for bench testing. But right now I have five volts supplied to this VTX and camera. And because it's two amps, I, I have plenty because I've already amp tested both of these components and they don't draw very much amps. I know that it's not exceeding two amps. Okay, I could turn, turn that back off and then I can change this into something else. So if I wanted to, I could grab my RXSR. Okay, and I can grab my hot, my five volt, and my ground, okay? I can grab a hold of those two wires there and make sure all the uh, wires are isolated. I can power up my RXSR and I can bind it to my transmitter before I put it in the quadcopter. Or if I'm wanting to do testing with it, I can test it to make sure that the range and everything's good. So this, this little, this little dude is is quite nice to have so 
and it's and it's accurate it puts out five volts if you're not sure how to measure five volts with a multimeter i'll have another video for that but i just thought i'd show you this little handy and like literally a dollar at the thrift store make your own hey if this video helped you out and you enjoyed it you know give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you hated it man you give me a thumbs down i don't care enjoy the breeze